Erwin Schrödinger, who was the father of quantum mechanics and particle wave theory, stated a hundred years ago or so that the total number of minds in the universe is one. In fact, that the consciousness is a singularity phasing within all beings. And this is also the heart of compassion of the Buddha and the source of the oneness spoken of in spirit and in all the religious traditions and Native American traditions. And I think that we are going to have to return to a very deep spiritual understanding of what it means to be a conscious being, to be able to not only live on this planet peacefully and not blow each other up over sectarian differences, but also to go into space. Because when you look into the eyes of an extraterrestrial life form, they may be very different from us in many ways, but if you see that that being is conscious, and the light of that conscious spirit is the same as the conscious light within yourself, then you can find some common basis. And so, if we understand the single source of the, of the origins of our conscious being, this is true not only for humans, but it's also true, very much true for these visitors. They understand that. Because you cannot travel at multiples of the speed of light without crossing the light barrier. And when you do, you enter into this area that the mystics used to call the etheric astral conscious realm. And so you're dealing with civilizations who understand that. And I think that is the big test of our civilization at this time, is that we understand that deeply enough that it really does change our paradigm. And when we do, we're not going to be blowing each other up because of different interpretations of uh, this, this Bible or this Quran or this uh, religious figure or what have you. And we're going to understand that we really are all one people in the, in the entire cosmos. That universal consciousness and universal understanding, to me, is the thing that will truly transform life on this planet and is the next big leap in human development.